Gay really is the best of what I call Texas grit. This is a woman that does not take no for an answer, and she is grit and perseverance personified. She's fierce and, you know, she's kick-ass, and she doesn't apologize for the things that she knows are right. She was raised by a family that valued that strong Texas independence, but also really looked out for other people. She had a lot of adversity in her childhood. Uh, her, her dad died when she was 13, and then her mother, Dottie, lost her arm when she was a child. So Dottie was a single mother and was the most upbeat, happy person you've ever met. And I think Dottie was really a lot of Gay's inspiration. She never lets adversity get in the way. She finds the optimism to make bad situations into positive ones. Gay loved her time at UT. She always was talking about it. She always talked about that the place gave her the opportunity to kind of lift up and rise up. That Genesis story of T3 is the stuff of legend. She wanted to shake things up, change the world of advertising. Her boss at the time said this business plan is cute. Don't share it with anybody. She walked out, took out the 16,000 in her IRA and started T3 and she paid it back within a month. The agency was really remarkable uh, for its time. One of her first clients was Michael Dell, who at the time was just selling computers out of his dorm room. They kind of forged together a, a plan to build what eventually became Dell.com. She just figured it out. Fast forward through the years, we won accounts for UPS, Allstate, Marriott, Chase, Dell. These were major Fortune 50, Fortune 500 brands. It wasn't work coming out of New York. It was coming out of Austin, Texas. And it had a lot to do with Gay's initiative and drive and inspiration. Her energy, her enthusiasm, her can-do spirit, that was infectious. She was there for her family while at the same time growing her business. Lee was right there by her side. Her husband, Lee's from South Texas. And Gay has really been a wonderful mother to her daughter, Rebecca. The Gay's book, Cowgirl Power, How to Kick Ass in Business and Life. I knew a lot of that book by just watching Gay. It's a great book for any rising leader to read, anybody who's looking for a source of inspiration and ideas and strategies, particularly for women. The book really took off. It became an international bestseller, so this wasn't any surprise to those of us who knew her as a writer. One of the things that Gay's most proud of is Women Who Mean Business at McCombs. Women Who Mean Business is a program offered through UT McCombs Executive Education Program to support mid-career women so that they can build the skills and strategies to achieve success. We hope women who mean business can be the lifeline so that women who are at that juncture, in that moment, feeling like they can't do it all, trying to balance often two careers in their home life. We want more women in leadership roles, in business, in government, in society, in the years to come. She was an artist first, so to me, she is kind of coming full circle. It is certainly fed by her love of the land, of the sky, of the place that is the Texas Hill Country. And she pauses to see it all. And she did her successful art show in New York. Things started to take off and is pretty well known for all the landscapes and paintings that she does. This sort of next generation of gay goddess as a painter is both not surprising and kind of inspirational all at the same time. Having been on the board of the Texas Exes myself, I, I know, A, how important the role of chair of the board is. The alumni base is just so many things to so many people. She's gonna bring energy and enthusiasm and scrappiness to that role that uh, has been very emblematic of her entire career. She literally spans from her college days in the College of Fine Arts to her work at T3 and being invited to be in the McCombs Hall of Fame. I mean, it's literally from art to business. And it just speaks to her breadth, it speaks to her range, it speaks to her love, it speaks to her engagement. She loves her Longhorns, she is an avid fan. Hook em horns, hook em horns, hook em horns, hook em horns. And so literally, there's not a corner of that campus that Gay Gaddis doesn't love and doesn't give back to. Gay Gaddis embodies this extraordinary balance of generosity and grace. She gets involved in organizations where she believes 
they are relevant and meaningful to the world. She's really invested in their missions, whether it's the Commission for 200, C200, Texas Cultural Trust, the board of Monotype. She's very active in, in gender equity issues within the industry. Gay has been involved with making the Macomb School even more successful, as well as the College of Communication. She deserves to have this capstone on her amazing, not just career, but her amazing life on how much she has given to the community she cares about. When you look back over her career, the time, the energy, and even the money that she's invested back into this university, to be honored with this award, I think is just gonna mean the world to her and to her family.